Now, don't fret. You'll soon be with your uncle. Do what he tells you and you'll have nothing to worry about. Ah, good afternoon, Doctor. Constable Herbert and my niece, Jill. It grieves my lonely heart for us to have to meet under such sorrowful circumstances, but I welcome the lonely lamb to the fold. Uh, this is your cousin John, <coughs> my son. And this is Jasper, who helps my father. Dinner's ready! <coughs> That's Ma Mix. Uh, uh, take your cousin in. I expect she's hungry. Bye, Jill. Jasper Sly, that wouldn't be pheasant you're having for dinner. What gave you that idea? Johnson saw someone poaching this morning about six o'clock. Uh, weren't me. I never get up that early. You ask the doctor. He'll tell you I'm lazy. <sighs> Poor misguided man. Twenty years ago, I took him out of a charity house and made him my assistant. And this is how he repays me. I shall have to speak to him. You are a good man, Doctor. Eat it all up. It'll do you good. You can thank Jasper for the pheasant. I'll thank him. You know I don't like pheasant. <laughs> How many times have I told you not to poach, Jasper? Lowers the dignity of me profession. All right, don't just sit there. Eat your dinner up. You can have it. I got work to do. <laughs> Doesn't do to overload your stomach when there's work to be done. You didn't give Jasper a chance to eat anything. Well, he's got a tongue, isn't he? If you gave me enough money to buy food, Jasper wouldn't have to poach. Yeah, you got too much tongue, woman. I'm not afraid of your bullying ways. I've worked hard for you and my herbs have made you a success. You keep a civil tongue in your head and I'll go on mixing your herbs and I'll cook your food. Finished, woman. Then you can clean my cloak. <coughs> yeah, the old witch. If she wasn't a woman, I'd use a whip on her. <laughs> You're a good boy, John. Yes, father. Hmm. John doesn't think much of his old father. What's worrying you, lad? Jasper, is it very wrong for a son to be ashamed of his own father? What do you think? I don't think. But if I did think, then maybe I'd say a father should be ashamed to give his son cause to be ashamed of him. It's a bit mixed. But I think you know what I mean. I know what you mean. John, when you've got those bottles done, you can help me to get dressed. This secret formula is proof against colic, pains in the joints, and hammer toe. But above all, it will stimulate and positively ensure the growth of the most luxuriant hair. In honor of this present company at Lammers Fair, I shall now present, free of charge, one treatment of Dr. Clayton's hair lotion. Startling proof of this miraculous lotion is before you. You, sir. Me? Yes. You. Your hair can be like my son's. And the envy of all the ladies. All you have to do is to step up onto this platform and receive one free application of this wondrous lotion. 